Hey there my little jelly babes! Uh, I'm going to be reviewing the last plate of these beautiful plates that have been sent to me from Marianne Nails so I really hope that you've enjoyed watching my uh, reviews and swatches of them. So I'm going to be reviewing this beautiful plate today, it's plate number 95 and it is basically like a Paris plate when it's got loads of really beautiful images on them. So I love that image there in the top left hand corner that is so cute and the Eiffel Tower with the butterflies is just so 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 adorable and obviously you've got the different um, writing in French also so I'm really looking forward to doing um, swatches of this plate. So this image is so cute and so adorable. So I kind of wanted to put it on like a sunset background but it didn't seem to show up very well and plus I made like the railing almost up like a curved bridge <laughs> so I'm going to do it again and put it on a lighter background okay so I didn't press down as much and as you can see you can really see the image more clearer and obviously it hasn't curved as well Okay, so I know not everybody's a fan of these keep calm slogans, but I wanted to do it because I wanted to show you how the uh, writing stamps and who cannot love Paris. So who has been fortunate enough to go to Paris? I have never been, I would love to go, but who has actually been to Paris? Please tell me and tell me how long you went for or how long it's been or was it a special occasion? Who got proposed to at Paris? I want details, ladies. So this image right here is so amazing. It's got everything that I love. So it's got the Eiffel Tower and butterflies. So absolutely adorable image. And as you can see, has swatched really, really well. That is so cute. So there are so many images that are just so adorable on this plate. Like I love this rose. And just to blow your mind, I put a rose on top of a rose. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this image here kind of reminded me a bit of like a fancy Fleur de Lis uh, symbol, which uh, the English translation is the flower of the lily or something like that. But the actual traditional meaning is like French royalty. Mm. So I'm gonna swatch this um, image here where obviously it's got lots of French words. I'm just going to pick it up and pop it onto my pop stick. There you go. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, so I'm a pop stick down. <laughs> so I just did it again. And as you can see, it stamped really, really well. So I'm going to get this beautiful image right here. Doesn't that look so pretty? And then we're gonna get these awesome like roses here and, and I'm gonna put it over a black pop stick. So that has, again has swatched amazingly, so many pretty images. And then this is the last image that I'm gonna do for you today, guys, where it says Jardin uh, Paris. So here are all the swatches all together. Have you got a favourite? I love this one here. And I'll just show you real quick the background that it's actually on. So I did this really cool like rainbow tie-dye um, rose thing. So if you want to know how to do that, I'll leave a link to the tutorial in the description box below. And that image is so, so cute. And obviously the Eiffel Tower with the butterflies is awesome. So thank you so much for coming in and checking out my reviews, you guys. I really do appreciate it. Bye. Mm -hmm.